The worst diaper experience was a real messy leak at my father's surprise party. It was in the car. We can't. Oh. I'm married to Adam. Divorce him. I can't do that. Why the hell not? I gave him my word. Your word. It's the same old song, Nat. I don't understand. I understand. I understand you plenty. You want a security blanket made out of stocks and bonds. You don't know me at all. Yes. I still care about you. Yes, I'm afraid. And yes, I do need security. Well, I can give you the kind of security you need. No, you can't. The stunt just proves it. Just proves even more that I made the right choice. Right cho You're living with a, with a man you don't even love. Well, I care about him enough not to hurt him by walking out on him. Hurt him. What you've got here is, is not a marriage. It's a merger. It might have started that way. But Adam is falling in love with me. Falling in love with you. Is that the line he's selling you now? It may be difficult for you to understand this, but this marriage is very important to him. Oh, you bet it is. He's raiding the mint here. I don't appreciate your remarks. Adam was very sincere when he said it. When? When did he say it? Well, earlier this evening, a little while before you got here. I got a reality flash for you, dollface. Do you know where your old man was just before he made this declaration of love? He was over at his third ex-wife's place, pursuing the hell out of her. In the past, Trevor, but this outrageous story is it's an all-time low. Scout's honor, Blondie. I caught Adam over at Brooks. I know the truth hurts, but Hubby is a reptile. Oh, you're lying just to undermine Adam. Can't undermine a snake. Why don't you just let him slither on back to his ex-wife? You're making it up. Adam has no interest in Brooke. Wake up, doll. He's very serious about this dame. I don't happen to believe that. Oh, you don't? Then what is he doing slipping on over there, seeing her on the QT? Oh, stop it, Trevor. I saw it. You don't believe me? Ask the Viper himself. Ask Adam. Ask him where he was this afternoon. Then throw his slippery behind out of your better room. All right. Let's suppose you're telling the truth. Adam went to see Brooke. So what? Right. So what? I mean, why should you care? You don't give a damn about him anyway. Don't try to get me upset. It's not going to work. <sighs> oh, you're not upset? Is that a little color coming into your cheeks there, dear? You're imagining things. I'll tell you something to imagine. Imagine his one hand in your pocketbook, and his other hand on Brooke's doorbell. I'm sure there was an explanation. Well, sure there is. If Brooke would give him the time of day, he'd drop you like a rock. What, you get all wallet. this from seeing them together in a room in the middle of the day? No. I get this from helping Brooke throw him out of the house. You went kicking and screaming, I might add. Well, there you have it. He, uh... They were arguing. Arguing? Like you and me? Like we argue? I'm sure he's still angry about that article. Oh, I'm sure he is. Wouldn't I know? But look, just because they were together Alone. doesn't mean anything. It has its possibilities. We're alone. It does have its possibilities. Oh, well, it doesn't mean oh, anything. Come on, we can barely keep our hands off each other. It's a struggle. No. Why don't we let the struggle just finish right here? You're blowing this all out of proportion. I'd love to, Dom. You just said that you cared about me. You just admitted it. I'm sure Adam will tell me all about it. Adam. Adam, Adam, Adam. Were you jealous of the old fossil face? I have no reason to be jealous. I know what it is. You don't like being played for the fool. An old snake face is playing you like a harmonica. I certainly hope you're enjoying this because you're absolutely wrong. Oh? What did he tell you when he went out this afternoon? Where was he going? Buy some socks, get a haircut, fix the lawnmower, maybe? He doesn't maybe? have to submit an itinerary. I bet he will from now on. We have a mature marriage. Uh, mature? As in ossified? No, what? our marriage is, is not based on adolescent impulses, like possessiveness. Oh, do Jealousy. Tell. It's childish things, like... Like, like this? Like... Like, uh, like that? Like this? Natalie! Heart disease is the nation's number one, number one killer. You, it's okay. I, I realize how this looks, but there is an explanation. There is? 
And I will explain, but first, why don't you tell me about your afternoon? Natalie, Drop take it. another look. <laughs> you and Adam have this weirdest marriage in, I've ever seen. Stuart. Can't even recognize her own husband in broad daylight. You and Adam get to date other people? No, it's nothing like that. Well, then how come Trevor's here with you and you just said Adam's over with Brooke? Well, I realize it must seem confusing, but it's really very simple. Is it? Yeah, you're right. It does seem confusing. Stuart, why don't you come and sit down, and, and you and I will talk. Trevor was just leaving. No, I'm going to sit right here. It's very fascinating. Ah, uh, I think, Stuart, you and I need to talk. Oh, no, I, I really can't. I, I've got to, got to get a go. Oh, no, please, don't run off like this. Oh, I, I, I can't stay. I won't be... I'll be late. Oh, uh, Stuart, there, please. There's a father-son reception over at Scott's school, and I, I just I just came by to borrow Adam's suit. Look straight on you, pal. Thank you. Oh, oh please, um, wait. Don't... I just really have to go. I'm sorry. Oh, well, Stuart, will you come back and talk to me later? Uh, I, I'm not sure I can. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <sighs> He's going to tell Adam. I know he is. So what? We were practically in each other's arms. We were in each other's arms. And I said, let's get back. No, no, Why not? stop it. Because this isn't right. Trevor, I have a marriage I have to think about. Not a marriage? It's a, it's a scam. Stuart can tell. You're not going to love that guy. You're not going to love him in a hundred years. Maybe not what you call love. Well, you know what we have. Fly-by-night thing, that's all we have. It's not a thing. It's a thrill. I'm not interested in thrills. I want something permanent. Permanent it is. No, it isn't. You have to work hard to build something that lasts, Trevor. Uh -huh. that's, that's how people do it, because they have the determination and the courage to work on it day after day after Sounds day. Sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. Have you ever taken a really good look at a Gothic cathedral? Oh, give me a break. Well, do you think it was fun to build this that? This is not a Gothic cathedral. Oh, you're never going to understand. This is a flimsy little hideout. What, what you and I got, we, what we got between us is a hurricane. And this hurricane is going to tear this place to smithereens. Trevor, I think it's time for you to leave. Okay. I'll go. But I'm coming back. I'm coming back again and again and again. And I got news for you, doll. Hurricane season is in full blast. Hurricane Natalie, Hurricane Trevor, Hurricane, Hurricane, Hurricane! Does there seem to be a problem? I told you what we wanted is just a standard form. I really think I need to wait and speak with Mrs. Chandler. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Caulfield, my wife doesn't relish business conversations. That's why she gave me power of attorney. I understand that, but I wonder if she re understands the ramifications of this transfer. I said she didn't like business conversations. I didn't say she was an idiot. <laughs> of course not. But Chromotech is a very high-yield firm. It may be her most valuable asset. Signing it over to you only makes it totally... It allows me to oversee the project completely without involving her in an activity that she detests. Well, frankly, I think a conversation with Mrs. Chandler is in order. <laughs> Mr. Caulfield, my wife, like many very wealthy women, is impatient and demanding. She expects paid professionals to do her bidding quickly. A brief conversation is in her best interests. Well, if you're not willing to expedite things, I'm afraid we're going to have to find somebody who is. Good day. Wait, Mr. Chandler. Ah. Uh, your wife is a valued client. I'd be very sorry to lose her. Then I suggest you do what she wants. Very well. I'll draw up the papers immediately. Well, and that's why I'm, I'm so glad you had the chance to come back, so that I had the chance to explain. So, what you're saying is you're not dating Trevor? No, we're friends, nothing more. Does he know that? Stuart, it's complicated. Yeah, sure it is. Well, you see, that's why if you tell Adam what you saw, or what you think you saw, He's going to be mad. 
Uh, and it could hurt him. And it could hurt our marriage. Well, I don't want to hurt anybody. I know you don't, Stuart. That's why it would be best not to say anything. Adam said that I was trying to sabotage your marriage, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not. Oh, I know that, Stuart. So, I can count on you not to say anything. Okay. Thank you, Stuart. But you'll have to tell them. I don't really think that's a good idea, Stuart. Oh, well, it's, it's really not good for married people to have secrets from each other, Natalie. So, I mean, it's really awful. So you tell him, okay? I take you to dinner. No, thank you. Is there something wrong? I know what you did. What? Your little secret is out. And frankly, I'm beginning to wonder if this marriage wasn't a big mistake. Toothpaste will blow you away <sighs> with a breath freshener that's a brush of fresh air. <sighs> Marriage was supposed to be based on honesty, and that's not the way it's turning out, is it? What are you saying? You're not being honest with me. If you were, you would have told me you planned to visit Brooke today. Oh, oh, that. I. That was just a, a spur of the moment thing. Well, apparently, you had to be ejected. Brooke thought I was uh, rubbing salt in her wounds, but I wasn't. I was just trying to mend fences. Why? Well, because Brooke needs all the support she can get right now after Ted dumped her. I was being a friend. <laughs> well, apparently she didn't believe that. Why should I? Because it's true, Natalie. I was trying to be magnanimous, to rise above that tempo prank she pulled. Adam, if you still love her, go to her. Go give it everything you've got, and we can call it quits while we're still ahead. No, no, I don't want to, I don't want to quit. Because I don't love Brooke. <laughs> something is telling me to reevaluate this marriage. That something is fear. Fear? Fear, yes, yes. I felt it myself. I'm a four-time loser in the marriage category, you know, and you, your record isn't much better. We're both afraid of being burned again. I'm just trying to face facts. No, 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 no. What you're doing is trying to bolt because you're afraid of another humiliating failure. But that's not going to happen. I don't know, Adam. You said you have been reevaluating our marriage, or so have I. And do you know what I discovered? No. Well, what started out as a no nonsense, nuts and bolts, arrangement of convenience is turned into something else. Turned into what? Love. For me, anyway. Natalie, I mean what I said. I love you. More and more every day. You do? Yes. Yes, I do. There's nothing to worry about. You believe me? Yes. There's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot, almost forgot to. Uh, Mr. Caulfield said I've got to get you to sign these things immediately. Mrs. Uh, let's get it over with. Just take a second. What are they? <clears throat> Oh, nothing. Just, just, uh, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, some, uh, non-specifics. Here's, uh, this first one is, uh, uh his pen. First one, it's on the second page. It's, uh, just, uh, getting the quarterly tax review started. So. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This is just some new electronics over at Chromatech. Mm -hmm. And this one is, um... Oh, it's the deed for uh, the new computer facility. Shouldn't I be reading these? No, of course not. Why should you? That's, that's what you have me for. All right. 
Enough of business. Yeah. Uh, Lucretia fixed a wonderful dinner. Timmy and I already ate, but she left something in the warmer for you. Forget about dinner. I have a better idea. How about spending the rest of the night in bed? You tired? No, not in the least. Join me? Well, I have a few calls to make, and then I promised Timmy I'd read him a book. Um, How long is that going to take? It won't take long. You go on, I'll be up. Hurry. Celebrating Blondie Kins and me. It's just the matter of dad. That's why you invited me to dinner? Yeah. Don't kid yourself. What do you mean? She admitted that she has really strong feelings for me. All I gotta do now is get rid of Dr. Strangelove. Trevor, don't mess up her life, all right? She doesn't need it. What do you know about what she needs? I don't want to see her get hurt, right? Don't worry about me and Natalie. Oh, I'm not worried about you. Next time I go out to celebrate, I'm not inviting you. You're as much fun as a wet banana. I'm not in the greatest of moves. Right. Why not? David asked Sarah to marry him. <laughs> I knew he had marriage from the brains, but I thought he had some brains. I talked to him about that, you know. I, I gave him, what, three courses of the Bachelor's Fight song. You didn't care much about the tune, right? Well, I can't blame him. That Sierra is a hot little number. She's a disaster waiting to happen. She doesn't love him. All she wants is to get him to give her whatever she wants. She might be able to do it, though. Not if I can help it. And I'm sure gonna try. <laughs> what is it with you? You jealous because your son's got a love life and you don't? I don't want him to marry a gold digger, that's all. Well, he might not have to. 